So I think a lot of people have also, you know, made peace with this and just accepted that being skinny is what's required to get a man. Even if maybe they don't say it out loud, because that's not really cool to say out loud. But once you accept that, the question you have to ask yourself is, is it worth it? Like to do what you have to do to be skinny? I have never been skinny and I have starved myself trying to get as close to skinny as possible. And I couldn't, like I never got below like a size eight. Some people, you just might not be able to get below that size because it just might not be feasible for you. But if you do want to get a relationship, then yeah, obviously um, making yourself as physically attractive as humanly possible will definitely imbue yourself with more attractive traits. So uh, if you're dating men, most men are going to be attracted to you physically speaking because most men are looking for a woman that's pretty. That's a fact. Now, sure, there are secondary features that do come into play. But most of the time, if you ask a guy, hey, um, tell me about your girlfriend. He's going to bring up, oh, she's pretty. She's fantastic. Like she smells really great. She has a great sense of style. She looks good. She got that ass and all this other stuff. Right. Um, that's usually what guys talk about. Uh, guys talk about when they talk, when they, when they're talking about the, uh, the attractiveness of a woman. And the same thing could be said, sure with a woman, but most of the time you're hearing he's so funny. He, he's so charismatic. He's really good in conversation. He's got all, you know, that stuff, the secondary features, right? So if you're looking to date a man, you should be looking to make yourself more attractive. Now, sure. I'm not saying that you don't have to have, um, work on yourself on the secondary features. Just because you're a walking pile of look good doesn't mean, just because you're a hottie on the outside doesn't mean you're a hottie on the inside. You should be trying to work on all aspects of yourself. But most definitely, if you're trying to cater or you're trying to seduce a man, then you should probably make yourself more attractive. Generally speaking, generally speaking, there are going to be men out there that don't necessarily think that just because you're um hot on the outside that doesn't mean like you know he's gonna go for you regardless but it's definitely gonna in, it's definitely gonna improve your chances so that should always be the number one thing um as a woman that you're looking to do and as a man i would also recommend looking good too uh you know dressing well shaving every once in a while wearing deodorant washing your butt cheeks that stuff will be very very you know intuitive and very very useful for you in the dating market but you just got to know who you're who you're going for. So she's right. If you're dating men, you should be looking to improve yourself physically. Is it worth it? I guess it just depends on the person you're talking to. Um, maybe some people don't find it worth it to be with somebody. Maybe other people do. Um, I like to think that most people are probably looking for a relationship. Uh, somebody that they can spend their life with and, and have unique experiences and things such and so forth. So if that is something that you want to do and you are a woman, then you should probably be making yourself physically more attractive. And if you're a man, that's obviously going to help too. But working on the secondary features, like, you know, making yourself more attractive in the sense of, you know, doing your laundry, you know, having a job, these things are going to be very, very, very important. And that was literally eating an amount of calories that I cannot say on the internet because it's too triggering. I think a lot of these people are lying because like when I hear these people say I was eating this many calories, I was literally starving myself every single day in order to reach these calorie counts, right? How long were you on this calorie deficit? Because like, listen, if you're eat, let's say for instance, you're eating 5,000 calories a day and you go down to a thousand, which I would never recommend anybody do because that's terrible. That's like a crash diet altogether. Your body will eventually hit a plateau and that shit will not move. So maybe she was doing that. A lot of these people that are eating these very, very low calorie counts just kind of prove to me that they have absolutely no idea what they're doing when it comes to losing weight. It's not about like literally taking your diet and throwing it into the, the garbage disposal and then, <laughs> you know, then being upset that your body's not reacting to the way that it should be reacting. You've been literally conditioning your body for like 20, 30 years of eating literal junk and slop and just garbage for so long. Of course, your body is like getting used to that shit. And then transitioning that to like eating a thousand calories or less. That's terrible. That's like monstrously unhealthy. So I would always recommend just do a slight calorie deficit and do that for a certain period of time. Once you hit a plateau, lower it again slightly. Hit a plateau, lower it again slightly. Not like, you know, eat like this and then just fucking <laughs> just 90 degree angle down and just like <laughs> you completely destroy your entire life because of that. Don't do that. So when I hear these people say this shit, that's immediately what I think. Like you guys, just, you just suck. You just sucked at the calorie deficit. Don't blame the calorie deficit. You have to blame yourself. You did something wrong. And I always hear this. I always hear the most extreme shit. I was eating like a thousand calories. I was eating 700 calories um why why are you eating that much that's like nothing bro you, you should be eating more than that okay more than that <laughs> like depending on who you are it is very very difficult to do what's required to be skinny and to get a man 
I think it depends on what man you're looking for. Um, maybe some guys are more superficial than others. Maybe some dudes, um, maybe they require more, sure. But I think that if you're catering, generally speaking, to men, you shouldn't have that big of a problem. Just be relatively speaking like a five or a six average um don't be mean and i guess like be be nice like that stuff's like all really really cool um don't have expectations far in a way that are gonna never be met i see so many people nowadays like watching the show pop the balloon has opened my eyes to the amount of people that have absolutely insane amounts of and they'll always sit there and go i'm never gonna lower my standards like i remember i was watching an episode this girl was like oh um you're just a little bit too short for me and then the host was like oh wow um how tall are you and the guy was like i'm six foot five and she was like ah, i need my guy to be a little bit taller than him. i'm just saying like what what like oh, a, a, a fucking six foot five is not tall enough you're literally like five four like what are you talking about this guy's like literally a whole foot over you and it's not enough like what are, what are these standards and sometimes um you see people saying unrealistic things like my guy can't play video games like period can't play video games period or i've seen a one woman say if you watch anime then pop your balloon <sighs> Oh my god, like I can't enjoy my fucking life. Like yeah, and I hate when people have these ex these really really out of the ordinary expectations because it's like how many hours are you spending on Sheen every single day racking up random things in your cart that you're going to buy at the end of the month? Like you do know that just because I'm playing video games for a few hours, that's my quote unquote addiction or like that's my getaway, but your getaway could be something different. Like not everybody that's in not everybody is sitting there grinding their life away, you know, going to going to work, coming home and then like what? Like grinding even more, like you can't have any moment by yourself. Like, Jesus Christ, woman! But it's not obviously just women. Some, a lot of men, have the same thing. Oh my girl, got to be banging. She got to go to the gym, you know, seven days a week or whatever the fuck. Uh, oh my girl, got to make me her top priority. Whatever the fuck. Like it, it's equal on both sides, right? But if we're talking about getting a man, it's it, listen. You don't have to do a lot. You just have to work on yourself. Make yourself more valuable. And that's all it really takes, man. Uh, most guys are willing to accept the bare minimum. But those guys are usually like the really, really low end of the guys that just don't really have a lot of value in general. So you probably shouldn't be pursuing them. But if a guy is serious about you, he would want you to improve to begin with. Um, being overweight is not good. So when you're sitting there going like, I have to lose weight for a man. No, but you should lose weight in general. Like you don't have to lose weight for a man. You should lose weight because it's healthy, because it's going to make you more optimal in life. It's going to literally improve your entire quality of life in general. And then maybe as a byproduct of that, you get a manses or whatever. I don't know why this is such a crazy idea for these people. By extension, right? Like I would probably just have to have weight loss surgery or... I, I think that like the way that these people talk about this shit, the way they make it seem is like it's, it's, it can't do anything about it. You have to go and get weight loss surgery. It's, it's so extreme. It's not like I don't know how much you weigh right now, but if you ate in a slight calorie deficit, you would lose weight. And if you continue to do that for like a year or two, you would be at whatever desired weight that you're talking about, um, a good healthy weight. So I don't know how much how tall you are. Let's just say like hypothetically, you're like five foot four. If you're five foot four, you should be like what? One thirty or something like that. You should be like one thirty. Um, let's be honest here. OK, I, I'm five ten. I weigh one hundred fifty pounds. I'm at a healthy weight range. Right. You, if you're 5'4", you should probably be around 130. I don't know why this is so ridiculous for a lot of people to realize. It's not that hard. Um, just eating in a slight calorie deficit and just doing that over over a period of time. And every once in a while, you can eat at a regular maintenance calorie and enjoy, enjoy life for a little bit. By the way, you've been eating at such a high calorie count for so long. I bet you don't even realize what a, a normal day's worth of food is. Like you've, you've literally spent your entire life eating just slop every single day. You've probably convinced yourself this is a normal amount of food. It's not. And I know it's not because I've hung out with big backs before and I've seen these people eating all the fucking time, getting takeout every single meal, eating ice cream out of the freezer, you know, getting scoops randomly, just going in there, getting a scoop, just putting the spoon in the sink and going back in 20, 30 minutes later, getting another scoop. Like you guys don't understand, like this is abnormal. Like people are not doing this type of activity. And I'm not saying she's doing that, but I've seen people in these circumstances before. And I know why you're big, because you don't understand that what you're doing is abnormal. You're not supposed to be eating <laughs> every 20, 30 minutes. You guys are doing it way too often. You guys are eating out way too fucking often. So if you're sitting there and you're going, I was doing something very extreme to try to lose weight. Do you not think that what you're doing right now in order to maintain that weight or grow bigger is not extreme also? Like, it's crazy. You guys are literally hypocrites. Uh, uh, paramount, too. Like, you're sitting here, sitting there going, oh, I, I can't do it. It's impossible. What you're doing is impossible.
or something. But it just feels better because putting stuff in your mouth, I guess, unlocks the hormones or whatever. Really, really drastic and extreme. I don't think you do. I think these people are just saying that so that way they don't do anything to lose weight. Oh, if it's really extreme and it's really drastic and it could be like life threatening, then obviously I'm not going to do it. But it's not. So they're just making it seem like it is so that way they don't have to change. And just say you don't want to lose weight. That's all it needs to be. Don't sit there and try to make it seem like it's ridiculous or impossible to lose weight. It's not. You're just making it seem, you're just making it seem like that so you don't have to do it. Is a man worth literally rearranging my organs who's rearranging organs i've never, like the only time i've ever heard somebody say rearranging organs is uh a guy with a bbc a guy that's about to literally inject himself into a woman i've heard that before uh usually on the woman's side like rearrange my organs or like move my intestines or some shit i've heard that many 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 of times but uh who is fucking asking you to do that nobody literally nobody bro uh most of the time like Go off, Queen. Go off, Queen. You're 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 ridiculous. You're 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 ridiculous more than Tracy. That's crazy. That's a crazy ass statement. That and I know why you're saying it. You do want to make it ridiculous. You want you want to make this like an extreme example, so it makes it seem like you've done everything in your power to lose weight. You haven't. You're ridiculous. Come on, dude. You're you're being a drama queen right now. Shut the fuck up. Come on now. Yeah. Yeah, suck me the fuck off, bro. That's crazy as fuck. Rearrange your fucking organs by getting like the weight loss surgery, bariatric surgery. Suck me off, bro. You if that's really that big of a deal for you. You, bro you're good we don't want you anyway so that he will like my appearance you're good you're good bro you're fine i think nobody wants your appearance anyway you're musty you're good your hair busted your lips crunchy we're good okay the point i'm making is like you don't have to do anything for anybody and if you're gonna make it that extreme anyway I, you're good go 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 keep dating your crunchy your crunchy boyfriend whoever that is i'm sure he's a great guy by the way i'm sure both, both these people the only reason i'm just upset right now is because she's making it seem like it's so ridiculous to lose weight it's not it, it, it hurts my hurts my feelings deeply because like you're making it seem like it's so crazy. It's not. It's, it's a normal thing. People do this shit every single day. It's a it's a normal thing that people do. A deficit, okay? And you're sitting here eating in a surplus every single day, and it's just the, the inverse of that, okay? So get your shit together. Who is this man? What has he done to deserve all this effort from you? Well, you're not doing shit. So I guess whoever, whoever you're with right now uh, didn't do anything to deserve that or like what? Like, what, how does this work exactly? Do nothing, get a man that also doesn't want anything from you? Is that really the end goal? Do no work, get a man that wants me exactly the way I am. I guess. I guess more than Tracy. Do you not understand how your own logic works? It, the, people build themselves up, okay? Like, when I was 20 years old, I was busted. I was musty. I look like scrudge. I look like grease stains underneath the fat man's armpit. And I didn't get any women. None. Maybe I had sex with one girl. She was a little bit bigger. That's okay. But eventually... You accumulate wealth, you accumulate expertise, you accumulate, you become more and more and more experienced in life, you become smarter, you do more stuff, right? And through that process, you become more attractive. Now, that could also mean like going to the gym, that could also mean brushing your teeth on time, brushing your hair, doing your own laundry. This stuff is gonna gradually make you more attractive. And as you get older, more you're gonna see more attractive people become more attractive to you because you are more attractive. So, given what you're saying right now, like why do I have to put in all this work to find a man or a boyfriend, why wouldn't you? Why do you think you have to do nothing in order to achieve something? Are you crazy? That's insane. That's an insane person take. Do nothing, receive. I guess, I guess, is it that easy? Is that what you want? I guess, hey, if it works for you, it works for you. But for the majority of people, yeah, we're gonna have to put in work. People are just not inherently valuable to people, okay? You have to do stuff for other people to make yourself more valuable. Me right because then you're also in this weird power dynamic i don't know if this person understands that a weird power dynamic i'm, I'm gonna let her finish before go ahead go ahead deserve all this effort from me right because then you're also in this weird power dynamic in the relationship where it's like even if it works and you do get a man because you got skinny and that's what was required then he's looking at you and you are killing yourself to be attractive for him. Nobody is doing that. You, this is, you're so fucking dramatic, dude. Shut the fuck up. Nobody is doing that shit, dude. Are you crazy? Do you think that women that weigh 130 pounds are literally... You think that's actually happening? You think that they're KYSing because they're eating... <laughs> Because they're eating what they're supposed to? Oh my god, guess what, Jessica? I accidentally ate like 100 calories more. Does that mean like you're the inverse of that? Like, dude, eating what you're supposed to is not like KYSing. That's crazy. That's an insane thing to say. Are you insane? Are you retarded? No, that's not the case. Am I, am I doing that to myself too because I eat what I need every single day? No. You know why? Because I know what I need to eat and I maintain that. I've been 150 pounds for like two years now. It's supposed to be like this. So 
No, no. Okay, and what are you doing to yourself right now eating in a surplus every single day? This is such a crazy stream of logic, dude. You like, and you're saying this as like a, oh, and I'm doing this for a man. No, you should be doing it for yourself and you're not doing that. You're not, you're not KYSing yourself for, for a man. You, you're not, you're not KYSing in general. You're just losing weight. It's not, <laughs> so crazy. What are you talking about? Shut up. Shut up, dude. You're crazy. You're you're insane. What's wrong with you? Stop. You're you're just <laughs> come on. That's not the relationship that I want to be in. Would it be better to be in a relationship with somebody that doesn't give a fuck about you in general, never actually talks about any of the actual problems you have because they're afraid to start a conversation with you because they think if they do, the relationship will end? Where he can kind of take or leave me and I'm sort of do Well, you're already Take or leave me. So if you make yourself physically attractive to the majority of most men and he leaves you, wouldn't you also be more attractive in general? So wouldn't that increase your wouldn't that increase your possibility of getting another candidate in general? So like it, it seems like it's nothing but benefit to you. So not only do you lose weight, you become healthier, but you get a man's. And then if he breaks up with you, which he was probably a shit dude to break up with you, depending on what happened, of course. I don't know, maybe you cheated on him or something. But let's say you break up with him. Well, you're still in a better circumstance in general because guess what? Most guys are gonna be attracted to you because you've lost enough weight to make yourself more eligible in the in the dating pool. So like in general, this is just a benefit for you. I don't even understand what you're talking about on this front. Relationship that I wanna be in where he can kind of take or leave me and I'm sort of doing everything I can for his approval. You, listen, for some reason, this person has deduced that the entire point of weight loss is to just get a man. Why do you think that? Why would you ever think that? That'd be like me going, oh yeah, I can like speed build a house in Minecraft because men like it. No, I'm sure some, I'm sure some men like it. I'm sure some women like it, but uh, that doesn't mean that I'm doing it particularly for that reason. Like, do you think the majority of people going to the gym are going to the gym for women's approval? Maybe at first, but I think eventually after you go to the gym for a little bit of time, you start seeing the gain, start realizing you look good and you're starting to feel better and you're starting to lift more weight and you're physically more active. But then you start realizing, well, even though I'm looking better for women in general, I feel like I'm, I'm being better in general. So yes, you will as a bike. This is why I always say, if you're going to lose weight, do it for the right reasons. It's okay to go in for the, at first for the wrong reason, but eventually you should pick up the good the good strats, right? But you should be losing weight. You should be getting in shape. You should be doing better for yourself, not for the appeasement of another person, but for yourself. And as a byproduct of that, maybe it's attractive to somebody else. But this person has somehow deduced that it's just for men, but she knows it's not. But she's just saying it is because she knows if she says that, then it will be more, it'd be more burning on her fire for her point, which it's obviously not. It's just a bullshit point to try to make it seem like she doesn't have to lose weight. You're good. If you don't want to lose weight, just say, I don't want to lose weight. You don't got to, you don't got to gaslight us into thinking that this is the reason. Okay. We all know. Stop being dramatic. I long ago accepted that if being skinny is what's required to get a man. But you have a man, so it's not required, obviously, right? She has a boyfriend currently, so it's not what's required to get a man. By obviously your own example. I will be a crazy cat lady and I will grow old alone. Do you know how crazy it is to be like, being healthier is the way that I can get a relationship? Oh, well, I guess. Wow. You really, you really, uh, you really did something there. Good job, Tracy. And okay, you know? No. Because if that's what it takes to get a man, it's just not worth it. True. Like, I, I don't want that man. She's in a relationship. I just want to point that out. Dating as a fat woman and then dating- I'm fat and tall. Double homicide. Double homicide. Dating as a tall woman is literally one of the most excruciating experiences because you get hit with men's like double insecurities. It's like, oh, I don't want people to see me with you. Like you're too big, X, Y, Z. And then they're like, oh, well, you're taller than me. Is that a problem? Like, oh my goodness. I don't know if anybody else feels this way, but sometimes as a woman, I just want to exist. And I'm always like, okay, I want to lose weight, but then it's like, I still have all these other things stacked against me black tall big you take away the big you're still black you're still tall i don't have straight hair i have dark skin and especially watching something like love and you look like jay leno but it, it's okay it's fine I, I personally you guys know i'm a snow bunny so i'm all for 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 the melanated people and things like that ethnically ambiguous individuals but i think 
it's definitely true about the height. It's definitely true about the weight. Most guys don't want to be with women that are bigger. Most women don't. Most guys don't want to be with women that are taller than them. Um, because in general, I mean, it might, you know, in my experience, I think it's probably a little bit more. There's more nuance to women being taller, but that usually doesn't happen in general. Most men are what five eight, five ten. Uh, most women are five four to five five. So there's usually not going to be that much of a conflict. Now, if you do run into a very tall woman, it is what it is. Like, I mean, I'm okay with dating taller women personally. I, I'm not a. I'm totally fine within my masculinity to date a woman that is more masculine or a woman that's taller or a woman that has uh, more masculine presenting. Like, I'm totally fine with that. I don't care. I know a lot of people might be a little bit turned off by that, and that's your preference. That's okay. Personally speaking, I'm okay with letting a woman lead. Now, that doesn't mean I'm okay with letting a woman peg. I'm not going to have a woman deep inside my butt cheek crevice because hashtag you got a G-spot in there. I don't give a fuck. First of all, that doesn't mean anything. So... I understand where she's coming from. I do. Also, on the realm of being black, it's true. Um, being black on dating on dating sites, black women are statistically the 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 worst. Like in this, not the worst, but they're the lowest on the on the totem pole when it comes to activity. Like most men are not clicking on on black women, which is sad because um, just because you're black doesn't necessarily mean there's something wrong with you. Um, it's just a vocal minority of people that say that it is. Uh, there are plenty of black women. I would say, go as far as to say the most of black women here in America. They're all individuals. Like people, these people are not um, hive hive mind just because they're black. It's not how that works. So I understand it, but um, it's just it's just a major cope to be like I don't need to lose weight because I'm already tall and I'm black. Therefore, why would I need to lose weight? I've already got a double negative working against me. I guess a positive would maybe help me a little bit, but I'm black and I'm tall. So like, there's nothing I can do there. I understand, but with all due respect, that's bullshit is blind where you have like all dark skin and especially watching something like love is blind where you have like all of the most gorgeous women fit the beauty standards it depends on the season you're talking about bro some of these women on love is blind dude i gotta keep it a buck i'm a connoisseur when it comes to love is blind some of these women when you're talking about to fit the beauty standards some of these women be musty as fuck some of these women be coming up there and they'll, they'll sit there and they'll gaslight like crazy. Oh, I look like Jennifer Lopez. Oh, I look like Megan Fox. I'm just looking at this woman like, bitch, what the fuck are you talking about? Megan Fox? More like Megan Rhino. What you talking about? You big as hell? You ain't Megan Fox? What are you talking about? And then they'll come out there with the mismatched face, you know, dark as fuck in the face, white as hell on the neck, crazy as hell, bro. I'm literally seeing... Uh, tons and tons of forehead, not applying wigs properly. The lashes be hanging off the side of the, of the eyebrow. It's like, what am I even looking at? These women coming out literally dilapidated, bro. Falling apart. And they're talking about some beauty standards. Some women, some women, some women. But uh, a lot of them, not so much. And don't get me wrong. There are plenty of musty ass dudes. Love is Blind is the epitome of cringe, which is one of the reasons why I love this fucking show. Um, it's the only show you can watch where a guy will sit there and he'll go, yeah, you know, I just... Uh, you know, I just, I think you're so amazing. I love your sense of humor and I love the way you can communicate. And the girl goes, oh my God, yeah, that's so amazing. And he'll go, my mom died when I was nine and it was really traumatized. Just start crying. I was like, what the fuck did that come from? Where did that, where are you, what are you talking about right now? And the girl will go, oh my God, that's so terrible. And then she's just like soaking her panties, listening to this guy talk about his deep insecurity. And he'll go, that's my, wow. <sighs> That's like the first time I've ever talked about that to anybody. That means I really trust you. I guess you must really trust me too, bro. Because I just heard the fucking whole deep insecurity story about how your mom died in a drive-by shooting because she was a heroin addicted. Like, I was like, what am I even listening to right now? The show is fucking awful. But I love it because it's like, that's the reason. Um, but some of these guys are so down bad cringe. Like, I remember this one episode. This guy literally was like, I wanted to like... I wanted to show you how much I care about you, even though, you know, how much I love you on the second day I met you. So I brought in my guitar and now I'm going to sing to you about how much I think your eyebrows are so good. And he's just singing. And it's like, what the fuck? Am I, what is this? What am I here? If I was a woman, dude, my vagina would invert and create a penis. I think you would literally turn me into a, a straight up big meated gentleman. I would literally be, I would switch entire races and genre of human being. But anyway, uh, some of these women on the show, they'll be crunchy. I'm just going to keep it bug. You have like all of the most gorgeous women fit the beauty standards. You know, you feel like people like them for their personality. And then when you get down to it, even being socially conventionally attractive is like. You do know that the entire point of Love is Blind is that you don't know what they look like, right? That's the entire point of the show is that you don't see them. You just talk to them through a wall. And you don't say anything about how you look. Sometimes they do because they'd be gaslighting people. I look like Megan Fox. 
But uh, the entire point of the show is not that. So you meet them eventually and you go, wow, you look so great. Half the time they don't like each other because, like, that the, the woman would be musty as fuck. Or the guy look like, a, you know, I don't know, a Jimmy Fallon if he fell down some trees. So you, it's not good. Like, mostly, I don't know why. This show is so awful, honestly. I can't believe how bad the show is. And then when you get down to it, even being socially, conventionally attractive is, like, not enough in the end. So I'm yeah, like because it. Because the show's not about being physically attractive. The show's about finding the person attractive without the looks. Are you fucking dumb? Are you? Is there some kind of like incompatibility? Is there some kind of like problem there? Are you like? Is there? Go ahead. Like, what is the real motivation to lose weight besides my knees not hurting? Why would you need anything more than that? Less pain, less less damage upon your frame, less. Okay, I mean, I guess, like, not getting a man, I guess, is on that list for some reason. All right, go ahead. Advice to... So it's kind of dumb. So that was a dumb point. Like, what are the benefits of losing weight? Because men will ultimately not find me attractive regardless because I'm black and tall. But why would you correlate that to the women on the show when the show is literally not about that at all? It's not even about looking. Okay, whatever, dude. Shut up, man. To all my fat girlies, if a guy... We need to talk about something, okay? I like wigs. I do. I understand that as a black lady, you need protective stylings in order to ensure that your hair grows properly. And I enjoy that. I do enjoy that. I think it's great. Uh, I have no problem with bonnets. I have no problem with wigs. I have no problem with protective styles. And I have no problem with like, you know, passion twists or anything like that, right? I'm cultured. Somebody cooked here, right? But I got to call you out when I see this, okay? Me being a white dude, me being a Caucasian individual, me being a non-melanated person, if I can see where your 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 edges of the wig is, dude, you didn't install the wig properly. And maybe you just making a TikTok, and maybe you just did this randomly, and you were in the middle of installing this wig. Listen, if you're gonna have a wig like this, you might as well just go on Amazon, type in George Washington wig, just get one of them. Fuck it. I mean, hell, if you're gonna have a wig that I can literally see where it starts, you might as well just get one that everybody knows about. Because this shit ain't it, sis. But go off. I is interested in you or wants to date you or whatever. Ask them if they've ever dated a fat girl before you. Because nothing is worse than being fetishized. <laughs> okay. Fetishized. There's an extra syllable in there. I think that you don't want to date somebody that's fetishizing you. It's okay to have a fetish be imbued inside of you. But it's just like an extra thing, if that makes any sense. But you don't want to be the number one thing. To, that you, you don't want that to be the number one thing, the reason why they're dating you, right? Um, just because I have feet doesn't mean that that's the only reason you should be with me. Everybody got feet, right? So if you if you only want to be with me to suck my toes, then I guess I'm not unique in any way because every fucking person has toes with the exception of those people that don't have toes. But you know what I'm talking about. As a fat girl. I don't think that most men, by the way, that haven't dated fat girls – um, are fetishizing you maybe it's never had the opportunity to i think it's kind of like an insane take to be like if a man has never dated a fat girl before therefore they're fetishizing you i think that's crazy that is what she's implying by the way and if you know that he's been with fat girls before or he's dated fat girls he wouldn't that be more of a case for that means that he uh he fetishizes them like if a guy has never dated a fat girl and he's dated conventionally attractive women or like society's definition of that and then he's like fuck it i might as well just see what it's like over here right uh, wouldn't that be a case on the other end if he's only ever dated fat girls? Wouldn't that be more of a case given the fact that he's only been with them? Maybe I don't know what I'm talking about, right? But you would think a guy that's done heroin one time compared to a guy that's done it his whole life, you would think the guy that's done it his whole life would be more addicted to it, right? You'll have some idea of what it means to be with a fat girl. I disagree. And what it means to show up as a boyfriend of a fat girl. I don't know why these people always feel like they're so unique because they're fat. You guys are like the majority. And don't get me started on extracurricular activities as a fat girl girl. Mm -mm. At this point. I, I don't even understand where she was going with that, but okay. In my life, I'm done trying to date. And there are many reasons why. But the one I want to talk about today is the fact that I just don't seem to attract the kind of guy that I'd be interested in. For example, I would be interested in somebody that is my age. Give How old are you? Why you got to wear these grandma ass glasses? Why your hair got to be so dry? Why your hair is no moisture in that shit at all, man. That shit is <laughs> Sahara, man. That shit is dry bro that's real dry 
you look like a young grandmother. You look like somebody that might have grandchildren. I don't know how old you are. You could be 24. You could be 50. I don't know. I, I honestly speak. I have no idea. Why are you dressed like this, man? Like, why? I can see why people might keep be. I, I can see why older gentlemen might be attracted to you. Uh, maybe they just don't know. Maybe they're looking at you and go, hey, my woman, my wife. Maybe they don't. Maybe they're doing that. Who knows? You kind of look like a grandma a little bit. Maybe that's the case. Who knows, bro? I don't know. How how old? What's the age gap? What's the age gap? Let's be honest here for a second. Once you get to a certain point, it does become a little bit of an issue, depending on how far of a person you are. Like, for instance, if you're, you know, five years, usually okay for most people, five, six, seven years, probably okay for most people. Once you pass about 10 years, it might be a little bit conflicting, it might be a little bit of a problem because you guys are from different generations and you guys might have different relatabilities. You might not be able to c connect on certain things, uh, maybe, right? And maybe if it goes further than that, maybe, maybe there might be some more differences there. Um, but I would just need to know the examples she talked about. Like, what, what is exactly the cutoff when it comes to age gaps? Because most of the time, um, in general, most people are dating around their age group. I think women tend to date a little bit older by, like, two or three years. And vice versa, men tend to date a little bit younger. So, I mean, like, it would just depend. Like, how old and, like, what's the gap? The kind of guy that I'd be interested in. For example, I would be interested in somebody that is my age. What is that? What is your age? Give or take a few years, but within my age range. Okay. And lately, it just seems like the only kinds of men that ever show any interest in me, which is rare. Of course, if you're familiar with my page, you would know that that's not a common occurrence. That's really sad to say, but go ahead. But anytime a man does seem to show interest, he's quite a bit older than me. And that's just not something I'm looking for. Like, I'm sorry, but I'm not an age gap girly. I would be looking for somebody in my age range. But since that doesn't seem to be happening, I would rather just take myself out of the game than try and make it work with someone that I'm not into. Settling is not an option. As a plus Settling is not an option is true. I would just need to know what the age gap was. Like, how old is, how old is you? A few years, I'm giving, what, three years? So are you getting hit up by guys that are four or more years older than you and that's just not going to work? I would just need to know the age. And I would also need to know how old she is. I don't know how old she is. She got, I mean, maybe 30 if I'm being like truthful. I think maybe. I don't know. Size woman, especially if you were not into settling is not an option. As a plus size woman, especially if you were not courted a lot in your teenage years there's the temptation to constantly wanting to be like i'm going on this date i'm going on this date it's to not only feel desirable but to prove that you are desirable it's why so many girls i know had fake boyfriends when they were growing up i think the need to feel desirable didn't we all have fake girlfriends when we were growing up i literally had a friend man this guy was weird as fuck i remember one time i like, going over to this guy's house and he told me, like, we were playing, like, I don't know what we were playing. We were playing a game. It was, like, a fighting game or some shit like that. And I remember he just, he, it was only me and him at his house. And he hit me with, hey, David. And I was like, yeah. He was like, you know, uh, you want to know something cool? And I was like, what's up? He's like, you know I'm growing a vagina? And I remember, like, hearing him say that. And I was like, I was like, what do you, <laughs> What are you talking about? What do you, what the fuck does that even mean? What do you mean you're growing a vagina? What is that even talking about? Like on your leg, like in a fucking jar? Like, what do you mean you're growing a vagina? He just left it there. He never answered the question. He just laughed and just kept it pushing. And I was just sitting there the whole day. I was like, am I going to die? Like this guy seems fucking weird as hell. But the same dude told me, I remember there was a giant hurricane that was going on in Boston at the time. It was ginormous. It was huge. It was like one of the biggest ever. And this guy told me that his Japanese, he was black. His Japanese girl, I only know black guys, by the way. His Japanese girlfriend was going to fly out from Japan and only stay with him for two days. Because people were saying, like, yo, you, you got a girlfriend. He was like, yeah, I got a girlfriend. You were like, what? Where, where's your girlfriend at? He was like, yeah, she was just here this weekend. She's from Japan. She flew out during the weekends. We were like, wait, hold up. Wasn't there literally a hurricane that, like, destroyed half the city? Like, flooded literally the entire coast? Like, what do you, what do you mean? Like, she was here for the... Like, didn't they literally close down the airport? Like, am I wrong? Like, what are you talking about? Um, she had a she had a private flight. She's a, you know, she's really, really rich or whatever. I'm just saying, like, bro, you're musky. You don't even wear deodorant, bro. Like, what are you talking about? You, you, she's rich, but you don't know how to put on deodorant? Like, what are you talking about? What, what is this correlation? But anyway, regardless of that, um, it's always so interesting to me when I hear people go, in high school, I wasn't courted. And I always go, it, uh, yeah, uh, duh. 
Uh, is, is that like a weird thing to not get courted? I'm pretty sure like most people in high school were perpetual virgins, dick dry as hell. And uh, to sit there and be like, oh, you know, I didn't get courted in high school. I know. I, yeah, I, that's like the majority of people. Why are you acting like that's weird? That's not weird. That's normal. Now, there might have been some people in high school that may have may they may have because I don't know if this is actually true. I've had a whole bunch of dudes tell me that they were having sex with women, but they obviously weren't because sometimes it would just straight up lie to you about that shit. Like, yeah, man. I was fucking this bitch, bro, and I was sleeping in the pussy. What are you talking about? What? What are you talking about, bro? What are you, why are you going to lie to me like that? It's so crazy. But the majority of people didn't touch vaginas until they were like 24, okay? Um, and the same thing for women. I'm pretty sure even though women have more opportunities than men when it comes to having sex, I'm pretty sure most of the women that I went to high school with, with the exception of the ones that had children, because some of the people I went to high school with were having kids in the middle of high school. Some of them, not all of them, obviously. It was like less than 1%. But... Uh, most of them were virgins as well. It, it, it's a normal thing, okay? Most people were not doing that, okay? Because, like, for one, you are children, and, like, what the fuck? You don't know anything about anything. Um, you're just lying. So when I hear people say this shit, I'm just like, yeah, I know. Everybody was like that. You're, you're not unique. Boyfriends when they were growing up. Her wig is way better. I think the need to feel desirable and to prove that you are, in fact, desirable is definitely a motivating factor because it is so male-centered and it's so centered around getting acceptance. I am likable. I am attractive. Standards is- True. Everybody is likable. Everybody's attractive. I don't know a single person that doesn't think they are those things. So it's like an irrelevant point to start listing out your good character traits, but you're also big back too, right? Really? And why would I go with somebody that's big backed and has those good character traits when I can go with somebody that's not big backed and they also have those character traits? It just seems like a lose lose for me. It's something difficult to understand. Yeah, I would say I have standards. Cool. I have standards, but then I would look back on the guys that when I was actively dating when Homegirl was booked and busy, I only liked these guys because they liked me. I can't. Awesome. Uh, deep insecurities. I hope she learned from that. I hope she's no longer in that bracket anymore. I get this thought out of my head. What is up with this hair? What, what is this hairstyle you got here? The Theo Vaughn? The, 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 the mullet? I have been somebody who's been pretty open about sexuality and sensuality. Um, and I have never and will never tell somebody that what they are doing is wrong because that's your life, not mine. However. What? Now, okay, maybe... No, that's dumb. That's really dumb. So if you're looking at somebody like just, oh, I stabbed this guy. Let me stab this guy real quick. You're not going to look at that guy and be like, oh, that's wrong, bro. What are you doing? Why are you killing that guy? That's, that's bad. That's not good, dude. We don't talk. I'm going to go ahead and take the moral high ground here and judge that individual and go, that's wrong. That's not what we're supposed to do. You're not supposed to murder somebody. And the same thing could be said for dating. Like if I saw one of my friends and he was like, dude, it's like, I don't know what's going on. Like I can't, no women are attracted to me. And then I go, hey, hey, bro, don't you, like, not have deodorant? Like, you don't have deodorant, right? And they go, yeah, I don't have deodorant. Hey, like, don't you, like, don't, you don't do, like, your own laundry, right? Like, you go over to your mom's house, just leave it there, and just, like, she, your mom does it for you, right? Yeah, yeah, I do. You don't do your own dishes, right? Like, you just don't do dishes in general because you order Uber, Uber Eats, like, every single fucking night, right? Like, you don't have any furniture in the house. You have, like, no, like, you use the same shampoo and conditioner for, like, the last five years, and... Like, you barely brush your teeth, right? Like, I would it be would it be far-fetched for me to look at that individual and go, I feel like there are a few things that you could probably improve upon, and I feel like maybe I could bestow upon that information. I feel like maybe you're doing a little bit of things wrong here. Is that far-fetched? Is that wrong? Is that, is that... I understand what she's saying, but that's fucking dumb. That's stupid. No, it's okay to look at somebody and think that they're doing something wrong. And I know you think, like, oh, I'm not going to judge them. Judge them! Judge them, bro. They're doing something wrong. I'm okay with that. It's fine. Somebody that what they are doing is wrong. That's why, that's why if you're not going to think that, then you're always going to think that what you're doing is right. And then it's obviously not because you're not getting what you want. And if something doesn't work and you keep doing it over and over and over again, I don't know why you would think it would continue to, 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 I don't know why you would think that it would work after doing it for that long and not work. Go ahead. Because that's your life, not mine. True. However... I, after yesterday, after today, am setting the standard that unless I know that you love me and you care deeply for me, you will not touch me. You will not. Okay. 
<laughs> because now love is a pretty strong word though like so they have to like get down on their knees and tell them like whatever dude it's a, it's a pretty extreme fucking standard dude uh, maybe she's just been mistreated by dudes i don't know man i just i don't seems like a pretty like a giant pendulum swing to the outside of the fucking wall of the pendulum is like burst through the side of the brim of the clock at this point dude go off man i i don't even feel like interrupting you go ahead the risk is far too large it's hard penis we're talking about the risk as in like the penis was far too large i don't know what are we talking the about the risk is far too large it's far too great And the only reason why I am saying this is because I exist in a body, and a lot of people who follow me exist in a body that is often seen as a secret, it is hidden, it is used for physical gratification. I just want to ask, okay? So you, you are sitting here and you're saying... You're never going to judge somebody. You're never going to say what somebody else is doing is wrong. But the people, the men that have you, you've been dating seem to only be using you for sexual gratification. But you, by your own logic, will tell them that they are doing nothing wrong. So how can you and that other person both be correct even though you feel like you've been done an injustice? Doesn't make sense. But fine. Whatever your fucking logic is. Uh, I also want to point out also... That if you're having these problems and you think that the weight is the reason why these problems are occurring, why would you then sit there and proclaim that you're not going to allow anybody to touch you in general because hashtag you have to love me when you could just lose some fucking weight and increase the bracket of men that are less asshole-ish? I, I don't even know what we're talking about. Why are we doing this to ourselves? Why is it so? Go ahead. You got that. Take and Take nothing else. And so lose weight. Like, just lose weight. Just stop being big bang. That's we are led to believe that romance is there until physical gratification is given and then it's out the window. <laughs> I implore the people who follow me, who look like me. To lose weight? That would be a great... Is that where we're going with this? To lose weight? Who listen to what I have to say. Why would anybody listen to what you have to say? Everything you said thus far is stupid and dumb. A larger person. Your body... Is unhealthy. Yes! Oh my god! True, true sis! Your soul yeah. and your safety okay. are worth taking priority. What about health? Is there health in there somewhere? I gotta get some Vaseline on that bottom lip a little bit. Do not allow those things. Oh my God. Can we, like, what is this pauses, dude? Like, what? Why? I get it. You're doing it for dramatic effect. Just get to the fucking point. I'm sick of these people thinking, like, if they fill the open air with dot, 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 and then build up to, like, whatever the next sentence is going to be, somehow it makes it more impactful. It does it. It just makes it stupid. Like, you, there's only a three-minute timer on the most uh, on the video that you're making, and I thought it was going to be filled up with information, and all it's filled up with is dry air of you trying to catch your breath because you said one sentence. Okay? Get to the fucking point. Jesus. Allow those things... to be hidden and sure as shit don't be with somebody who makes you think different cool you, you really said something there uh it seems like all these problems are all your like, like not all of them obviously if a guy's like using you but simultaneously it should be up to you to decide who and who and what you're around at any given point in time um it's okay like as you're dating people are going to use you because you just don't know and eventually you start getting more experience and you realize like okay this person this type of person is an asshole type person i'm not going to like entertain these types of people anymore um but it seems like this person's having the same problem over and over and over again and it seems to have a lot to do with the fact that they have weight on them extra weight but they're not doing anything about it so it's just like what are you what am i even supposed to do with this i, I don't know anyway guys
we're going to end the video here. Uh, if you enjoyed today's video, I'd appreciate if everybody could leave a like, comment, subscribe, sharing the video. All those things I'd appreciate tremendously. Um, thank you so much for watching today. If you watched the video in its entirety and or you're here right now, leave it down below by typing in aspirin. Because I took one earlier today because I, I had a headache. But I think I was just a little bit dehydrated. I sucked a lot of water down. And now I feel a little bit better. So I'm, I'm feeling it now, Mr. Krabs. Um, by the way, you smell great today. Your eyebrows are very well tasty. And they look good too as well. Um, thank you so much for watching today's video. I wish to lubricate your entire existence through the realm of love and affection because I really enjoy that you're here right now watching this video, taking time out of your day. That's amazing. You smell really great. I love your aroma. We should find a place to like bottle it up so we can sell it to people because I think we can, it's a pretty lucrative thing. You smell too good to not imbue it upon other people. But anyway, guys, if you want to check out my social medias, they'll be listed down below. Enjoy the rest of your day, guys.